Would you please uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance for tonight's July 11th board meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call, please. <clears throat> Trustee McClafferty. Here. Shaughnessy. Get here. Nagowski. Here. Stapleton. Here. Get rich. Here. Maher. Here. All right, next up, we have the consent agenda, which will consist of the following. We have the approval of minutes for the July 27th board meeting. We have approval of disbursements, June 28th through July 13th of this year. We have an ordinance, 0-31-22, approving the second amendment to parcel A real estate purchase and sale agreement with BSTP Midwest LLC. We also have Ordinance 0-32-22, again, approving the Second Amendment to Parcel B, Real Estate Purchase and Sale Agreement, with BSTP Midwest LLC. And we also have Ordinance 0-33-22, again, approving the Second Amendment to Parcel C, Real Estate Purchase and Sale Agreement, with BSTP Midwest LLC. And we have a resolution. R-32-22, approving the voluntary separation agreement and release for Thomas Smith. We have resolution R-33-22 for supplemental requests for expenditure. And we have a resolution R-34-22, approving a service provider contract with mm -hmm. municipal GIS partners for geographic information system GIS services. I need a motion, please. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion by Trustee Snigowski, seconded by Trustee Maher to approve the consent agenda. Do we have any questions or comments regarding anything on the consent agenda? All right, roll call, please. McClafferty? Yes. Shaughnessy? Yes. Snigowski? Yes. Stapleton? Yes. Kittridge? Yes. Maher? Yes. All right, motion approved. Next up, we have the mayor's mention. We hope everyone had a uh, wonderful July 4th, as well as enjoying the July 3rd fireworks at the Park District. They did a great job. We appreciate all the work that they do, as well as uh, Ralph in preparation, our police, our emergency services, as well as the cooperation of the township. Again, I always say it's my favorite evening of the year. I love it. It's a great show. Gets better each and uh, each and every day. In fact, um, Fox 32 showed up. Uh, we were on their was it the 10 o'clock news, Linda? I believe. I think it was their 10 their 10 o'clock like or not nine, nine o'clock. I think yeah. Nine but uh, in fact, George's kids uh, made uh, made it into the tape. So uh, dancing. Ah. It was good. So um, but no, it was a great evening. Uh, the word is spreading around. I've run into like two or three people out of town that were actually there. So again, uh, and again, it was a great crowd as always. Everyone, uh, you know, it was it was uh, well well you know attended as well as um, you know people uh, enjoying themselves uh, in the right way. So we'll leave it at that. But uh, again, it's another busy week. Tomorrow is the last Lamont Park District movies in the park. Uh, Another one of my favorites, Clifford the Big Red Dog. So make sure you check that out. That's at Connemara Park on Waterford Drive off 131st. Seating begins at 7 p.m. and the movie begins at dark. Also this Wednesday again, uh, we have our car, our car show. It's the Lamont, Lamont Legends Cruise Nights. It's Jeeps and Expo Night. The car show begins at 6 p.m. Uh, runs every Wednesday through August 31st in our downtown. So again, visit hcba.com for more information. Also, this Thursday, we have uh, one of our last three Sunset Soiree concerts. We'll also have one on July 21st as well as July 28th. This Sunset Soiree feature will be Prairie Station. They will be playing country music on Stephen Street. Again, we close that down in our downtown. Seating begins at 6 p.m. The concert begins at 7 p.m. So again, we encourage everyone to bring your family, friends, uh, bring your chairs, and enjoy the free concert and evening out. For more information, visit lamontparks.org. 
Continuing on, the 10th annual Giving Back to Lamont concert will be held Saturday, July 16th from 4 to 9 p.m. at the lot next to Nexmex with a local area artists. This benefits our two Lamont food pantries, so please bring your non-perishable food items or you can always make monetary donations and purchase raffle tickets to enter into prize drawings. Please visit Giving Back to Lamont Facebook page for more information. Again, that is this Saturday. Please check that out from 4 to 9 p.m. Also this Saturday, uh, the Forge, they have um, uh, music which begins at 3 p.m. It's Maggie Speaks, which begins at 6 p.m. Fireworks are at dusk. Visit forgeparks.com for more information. Also, Metro is offering special service on the Heritage Corridor line on consecutive Saturdays through September 3rd. This will give Chicago area residents opportunities to explore the bike and running paths, festivals, restaurants and breweries in our vibrant communities along the historic route. There are three round trip trains, each equipped with Metro's new bike cars to carry extra bikes. The schedule is also an opportunity for those living along the Heritage Corridor to take Metro into the city on these Saturdays. Please visit metro.com for more information in the special Saturday schedule on the Heritage Corridor line. Also sign up to receive our e-news blast through Stay Informed, located on the top right corner of our website for current information about the village. Also please sign up for news about our Lamont downtown at lamontdowntown.com on the bottom of the front page. That's it for our mayor's mention. Next up, we have the clerk's report. Linda. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I want to mention, too, we had our chalk art contest on Saturday, and we saw some people from downtown getting off the train. Some of them went to go biking, and some went to go hiking, so that was kind of cool. So they are coming into town. Awesome. We have resolution R3522, approving award of contract public works annex access roadway and storage yard paving. Okay, need a motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. <coughs> All right, we have a motion by Trustee McClafferty, seconded by Trustee Shaughnessy. Who's taking this? Is Ralph? Ralph, Ralph are you taking this? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So this is a resolution for the um, construction roadway and foundation at the new well site at Archer and Derby. Uh, whenever you see a memo that's, that says uh, Public Works Annex, that's what we're talking about is the uh, the new water tower site. But I will include the address on the next one because you're going to see these few um, coming up. Um, got a lot of work to do up there with this project. So uh, there were three bidders on this project to install the roadway. And staff recommendation is to award a lamp construction the, uh, the job for $277,000. And it was 100,000 below the engineer's estimate, which leads me to tell you guys that right now the the uh, prices for everything it seems it's very difficult to to nail down an estimate that's accurate. Um, everything is so volatile, so it seems like I can't estimate high enough sometimes. But then we get something like this where it's 100,000 more. You know the estimates more than the, the, the actual bid so just so you know things are very volatile and we're trying our best to estimate you know accurately so staff recommendations toward a lamp for two hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars this is under the bid wasn't it yeah mm -hmm. hundred thousand under any other question yeah it was it came in under the bid correct ralph it came in 100,000 under the estimate, yes. Yeah, okay. We're, we're just clarifying that. Yeah. We're, we're not used to good news, Ralph. You gotta deliver it in a, in a better way. So, <laughs> so the next one. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions or comments for Ralph? All right, uh, roll call, please. McLafferty? Yes. Shaughnessy? Yes. Sankowski? Yes. Stapleton? Yes. Kittridge? Yes. Maher? Yes. Okay, motion approved. Resolution R3622, approving award of contract, public works annex site, work storm sewers, and drainage. All right, need a motion, please. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion by Trustee Stapleton, seconded by Trustee McClafferty. Ralph, 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And again, this is at the new water tower site. This is for the storm drains up there. We want to dry up that property to uh, to get the, the large equipment in there. So the storm sewer uh, system is going to have to be installed. There were four bidders on this project uh, with uh, Hoppy's Landscaping coming in with a low bid at $144,441. And that staff's recommendation is to award Hoppy's Landscaping the, the job for $144,441. Thanks, Ralph. Any uh, questions or comments? How did it come in uh, to the engineer's estimate? It was, it was a thousand it was a thousand um over the estimate of 143,630 got it all right anyone else all right thanks ralph roll call please mclafferty yes shaughnessy yes snigowski yes stapleton yes Pitridge. yes Manor. yes all right motion approved Resolution R-37-22, approving an intergovernmental agreement between the Lamont Park District and the Village of Lamont for the National Fitness Campaign Fitness Court Project. Okay, need a motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. All right, we have a motion by Trustee McClafferty, seconded by Trustee Shaughnessy. George, you taking this? Yeah, I'll take this one, Mr. Mayor. I'll take the next two items together, and I'll have Ralph chime in about the construction contract. But uh, the Village and the Park District have been working together for the last few years on uh, programming some downtown recreation space. And this project came about a few years ago uh, when the park district was uh, able to secure a grant for outdoor recreational equipment through the, through the National, uh, National Fitness Court program. Um, so we were looking for space a few years back and thought it would be uh, a good idea to program the space underneath the Lamont Road Bridge. The village had a lease on the property, uh, good utilization of property. Um, the project took a little bit longer to get underway. We had to have uh, several years of coordination with IDOT. We do appreciate their help on adjusting the lease and converting it over to a permit for use. Uh, so we're ready to go. The IDOT has indicated that they will permit the project uh, once the construction contract is approved and all the applicable paperwork is forwarded over to IDOT. Um, that's where we'll get into uh, Ralph next. Um, a couple items under the IGA, though, before we talk about the project. Um, just to, it wanted, thought it was important to communicate to IDOT that the village and the park district were partnering on this project. Um, the village's uh, role will essentially be during the construction project of the foundation and the related work, landscaping, um, some other amenities, benches, although there will be benches and other amenities added later by the park district. Uh, to the extent of that is our involvement and once the project is complete and the fitness equipment is installed by the park district, uh, that will be the end of, of our involvement. Uh, the maintenance, uh, liability, uh, programming of the park will go to the park district long term. We're just partnering, doing what we do well, and then we'll turn it over to the park district. But uh, Ralph, you want to talk a little bit about the, the construction project for the foundation? Concrete pad that's about 40 by 38, I believe, right around there. Um, it's going to it's going to contain a retaining wall, on the uh, the it would be the north side of the the foundation, uh, benches, plantings, uh, trash cans. Uh, the estimate was ninety three thousand two hundred thirty dollars, and there was one bidder on this project, and it was MYS, which we have done a couple projects over the last couple of years with them, and they they do really good work. So they came in at one hundred thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars. And that's uh, staff's recommendation is to award MYS the project for one hundred thousand four hundred seventy-eight dollars. Thanks, Rob. And again, um, you know th this space is dead space. It's underneath the bridge. It will go a long way as far as again trying to bring more people downtown, uh, fill up what we consider you know somewhat uh, you know space that's somewhat of an eyesore. Uh, Anytime we could bring more fitness, <coughs> parks, people, that's what it's about. So, again, we appreciate the park district's willingness uh, to join in on this and to take the lead on it. And, uh, again, it will be another, you know, amenity uh, for the downtown that will bring hopefully more people, uh, you know, from an attraction standpoint. So, with that being said, any other questions or comments regarding this? Yeah, I just have a quick question, Ralph. You said the retaining wall is on the north side? 
of, of the, of the park? Yes, zone? Dave. So is it going to step down? Uh, the, the north side is higher than the south, right? North side is, high, is higher than the south. So, yeah, I'll double check on that t tomorrow and give you a call. But I believe that the, the wall is going to be on the north side. And I don't know if there's going to be any steps, though. I'll check. Also, access would be from the south side, correct? Yes. From okay. the south. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Confirm that the um, the equipment will face east, so the wall with the branded um, portion of the project will face to the west. I know you had that question at the committee of the whole meeting, uh, Ron. Um, so it'll it'll face east essentially. And then I also noticed I think there's a, a short fence that'll go all the way around the park because I think there was a question on that too. We didn't think there was a fence going around, so there's a. Has, at least in the estimate that came through the H core, there was a fence that was going around. Like a decorative fence. Yeah, like yeah. a decorative fence. Correct. Got it. Okay. Um, roll call, please. Flafferty? Yes. Shaughnessy? Yes. Snagowski? Yes. Stapleton? Yes. Get Ridge? Not her. Yes. Okay, motion approved. Resolution R3822, approving award of contract, State Street High Bridge National Fitness Court. Need a motion, please. So moved. All right. Second. We have a motion uh, by Trustee Stapleton, seconded by Trustee Maher. George, anything else to add? No, we went through the contract. Anything else, Ralph? No, that's it. I already went through it. Okay. Um, All good, Ralph. Thanks. Um, comments? Roll call, please. McClafferty? Yes. Shaughnessy? Yes. Snagowski? Yes. Stapleton? Yes. Get rid of Yes. All right. Motion approved. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Thanks, Linda. Uh, village Attorney Report. Mike? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have nothing to report this evening. Okay. George, Administrator Report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Nothing to report. I'll have an item under Executive Session. Okay. Um, any... Uh, Board reports, staff reports, Chief or Chief, Ralph? Do you have anything? No, Mr. Mayor. All right. Just really quick, Mr. Mayor. Just a reminder to our residents that we do have our summer watering restrictions restrictions out there. I think the the biggest misunderstanding people have is that there is no outside watering between ten and six. That's uh, usually they don't know that they, they usually water on the right uh, right day. So there is no watering between 10 and six. That's when we catch up. So just a quick reminder. Everybody's doing great, though. Thanks. Rob. All right. Uh, any new unfinished business, George? Anything? All right. Audience participation, George. I'm going to handle that. <laughs> hey, sorry. Could, yeah. Quick question. Ralph, is it 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. or? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's no watering. Thanks. Audience participation, George. Well, it's the time of the meeting. If there's any comments prior to the meeting, I, I'll read into the record. I did not receive any uh, here in, in the crowd. Jerry, anything? No. Nothing. I thought you had a question, Jerry. I did. He talked to me prior. We're going <laughs> to. Jerry's always got a question. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. All right, thanks. All right, next up, we are heading into executive session. We're going to need a motion to move into executive session to discuss under Chapter 5 ILCS of the Open Meetings Act, real estate purchase or lease 120-2C5. Need a motion, please. So moved. All right, we have a motion by Trustee Stapleton, seconded by Trustee Kittridge. Roll call, please. Clafferty? Yep. Shaughnessy? Yes. Gowski. Yes. Stapleton. Yes. Get rich. Yes. Yes. All right. Motion approved. Will we be making a decision after this? There will be no decisions. Nothing on the agenda. Uh, so we'll take a short break, three-minute break, and uh, uh, but no, the public doesn't have to remain. Jerry, you can go. Thanks. Home. Well, again, thanks for everyone for joining us. Have a great week. Thank you.